What up, players? Warbots tape in its mug, doing a video on a Krieg. What is this? A Medusa? Griffin? Some kind of mythological creature that was part of my July painting challenge this year, but I didn't get to finish it during July. But I did want to finish it because it's part of a commission for a local client. So here it is, all finished. This is one side of it. When I finished it, I decided to go back with some weathering effects from AK Interactive. Great stuff. So I used some grime weathering effects on the rivets there, uh, some dust effects on the bottom uh, to make like it's turning through uh, a, a, a battlefield. And see, I also used some streaking water effects. So there's some water effects there. I used the Death Corps of Krieg uh, transfer sheet, which I bought for the transfers. And yeah, I, I also did like this technique of highlighting this barrel that I thought was really fun. It's highlighting the lighter areas so that it'll always look this way no matter which way you turn it. So the, the bottom half of the barrel, almost like a chrome effect, but just not as shiny as chrome. So the bottom I hit with Nuln Oil and uh, did a couple of shades closer towards the center sections. And then the top I kind of did more highlighting with Rune Fang Steel. So on both sides, it kind of has that illusion that the top area is a little bit more reflective because it's closer towards the sunlight. And there you can see on the front of the seed shield the, the shine off of the water effects there. I, I love AK Interactive stuff, man. They're really, really cheap. You can get most for uh, getting five $1 tacos from Jack in the Box per, and the effects are just fantastic. Like the streaking effect, the grime, uh, there's oil and fuel stains. I think I did fuel stains here on this side. Yeah, so like gasoline, promethium, whatnot, fuel leaking out of the out of the front there. Uh, again, Death Corp Creed transfer sheet. And yeah, I wanted to weather it and make it look as realistic as possible. Some the onset of rust there is also indicative of that that kind of grimy look. And there you've got a tank commander, which is just basically like your other Death Corp Creek guy. So I painted him just like my regular infantryman, but he's got a little viewfinder lens to aim on the left side of his helmet. I hope he's not going to stay there when it fires, though, because it's going to be pretty loud, I think. All right. So, uh, oh, I think I have to do a little bit more highlighting work over here on the front of the flamer, heavy flamer. But other than that, this piece is done and... I'm going to try to be getting back into the Death Corp Krieg as much as possible. So stay tuned for that while I finish this commission job. And I hope you guys are all doing well out there. I've been able, <laughs> lucky enough to get some time this weekend to turn out a lot of videos. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all having a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Latest players!